if you are considering opening the door outside, so converting from an in-swing door to an out-swing door, you cannot buy an in-swing pre-hung door and just put it the opposite way. There are two main things to consider. One is the threshold or the door sill. And if you see that for an in-swing door, the threshold will leave the door sitting on this threshold on the, uh, the, the, uh, the top on this one, and then it slopes outwards. For an outswing door, you need to have a threshold which will sit on, not on the top portion, it will sit over here. And you can see this is a threshold from betterdoor.com. This is one of the best ones I found and I'll show you why. One thing is this width is going to cover the jam di uh, dimension. So this is two and a half inch. If you put, this is an in-swing one from Home Depot. It's very uh, uh, cost effective. This is like $17 and this one is $50. So, but I can't put this in because this width is two inches. It needs to be two and a half inches. You can probably add something to make it two and a half inches. But the other thing is the, the depth of it. So if you want the door to sit on this one, there is probably not enough depth to sit the door. Whereas if you sit, see this one, not only it comes with a seal, which will close the door much tighter. And if you have wind or water from outside, it will not allowed to seep in, but also see the depth of it. The other thing of the expensive one is the material. So the top material is fine, but if you look at the bottom, it has wood in it. So the wood is covering the portion where it needs some strength. Whereas the expensive one has um, composite on it. So this is not going to rot. I'm going to put it in a lower level where the water hits a lot and this is going to be a better solution for it. So two things, you want the door to come and close over here, not sit on this one for an outswing door. The second is you want to have a seal, which is good. You can replace the seal.